Homecoming week is finally here, which means KU will host the Texas Tech Red Raiders this weekend. The Jayhawks are coming off a heartbreaking loss to the Texas Longhorns, which came down to the final seconds. KU did score 48 points under Brett Dearman's first game as the offensive coordinator for KU. This included an incredible performance by quarterback Carter Stanley, who threw for over 300 yards and four touchdowns. Les Miles says Dearman has made a great impact so far and has completely transformed the offense. It is a new offense, but uh, the, uh, the, the similarities between what we ran when, in the first several games and what we're running now are significant. It's just that it's the approach is different, and uh, and I think uh, I think Mr. Dearman is doing a great job in in pushing um, connectivity and team and physical play, and and yet similarities between some of the things that we call. Texas Tech is coming off back-to-back -back losses to Iowa State and Baylor. However, they have never lost to KU in Lawrence. Texas Tech needs a win if they want to keep bowl eligibility hopes alive. A win for KU would give them their first victory on homecoming weekend since 2009. Kickoff for the game is scheduled for 6 p.m. And if you're going to the game, make sure to stay in your seat at halftime as former Jayhawk and defensive back Daryl Stuckey will be inducted into the Ring of Honor.